I'm Matt Glover with Aeropest Service and every single year we get a lot of calls in the spring and the summertime uh, from homeowners and people that just built new properties uh, about how can they properly take care of their new sod. Uh, they want it to start out right because they want it to be healthy and be strong for years to come. And today I want to help you do that. We want to start out with uh, watering, how to water your new lawn. Two, how do you properly mow your new lawn? And three, we need to take care of the insects. And four, we also need to take care of the weeds. So let's take a look into this today so we can make sure that your lawn looks its absolute best right from the beginning. Because if we can make it look good in the beginning, it's gonna look good for years to come. Okay, your new sod is down. Initially, what you wanna do immediately is to water your lawn thoroughly, at least a minimum of six to eight inches. We wanna get a good watering down so that watering goes all the way down to the roots so it can establish a good root system. Without that initial watering, your lawn's not gonna be the very best it can be. Now, after your initial watering phase, we wanna water frequently for at least the next two to three weeks. It's gonna be very crucial for root development. Well, the one thing you need to make sure is that you do not over water. So keep an eye on that. You want to water every day for the next two or three weeks, but do not over water. We want to make sure that we form a good root system that it develops properly because if you don't have a good foundation from the beginning with your grass, it's not going to turn out good. It's not going to look as good as it should be and it's not going to be healthy as it should be. Now that we initially have your new sod watered in and it's rooted in, now we're going to have to have a frequency of every two to three days of watering that lawn, especially if you live in Florida or Texas or Louisiana, Mississippi, and you got really hot weather, you're going to need to water on a very frequently basis. But here's the key to your watering is that you want to water at least an inch to an inch and a quarter at each watering. This is what we call deep watering. What that does is it saturates the soil, the grass, uh, to the point that it causes the root system to continue to go deep. One common problem that we run into with people is that they water uh, shallow. In other words, they'll water maybe 10, 15 minutes every day. What happens is the water doesn't go down, never reaches the, the roots. And so the roots actually turn upward and start reaching for that water. So here's the thing, we wanna water frequently, the water deep every time we do water because that's gonna help make your lawn look a lot better. It's gonna be a lot stronger. It's gonna be a lot resistant to the drought because if you live in Florida, you understand that it could rain every day or you could go a month or two and not have any rain at all. So we will make sure that your lawn's looking good. So deep water every two to three days at an inch to inch and a half per time. One of the most important factors and most important questions that we get all the time is like, what time of day should I water my lawn? Let me tell you, I water my lawn at four o'clock in the morning. Let me tell you why. I do that because it's cooler and the winds are down. I wanna make sure that my lawn gets all the water that it can get. If you water in the afternoon, temperatures are a lot higher. You're gonna have a lot of water loss through the evaporation and the winds are typically higher in the afternoon and you're gonna cause a lot of drift um, with your with your sprinkler system and your lawn's gonna get enough water as it's supposed to get. So make sure you water early in the morning and that way your lawn is ensured that it gets all the water it can get because it gets hot in, in Florida, it gets hot in Texas and Mississippi and Louisiana and Alabama. And we wanna make sure that your lawn gets all the water it can be because without water, your lawn's gonna die. Now, the next most important thing that we need to do to your new sodded centipede lawn is mow it. But you need to wait until it's firmly established before you have your first cutting. And that can take anywhere from two to four weeks. But once it's established, uh, you can go ahead and mow your lawn. Now, here's the thing. Centipede grass needs to be cut anywhere at an inch and a half to two and a half inches for your mower blade. So make sure that you properly set your mower blade to an inch and a half or two and a half inches. That way we're cutting that at the right height, okay? If it's not cut at the right height, you can cause damage and you can cause that lawn not to look as good as it needs to. So inch and a half to two and a half inches for centipede. We want to make sure that your mower blades are sharp. You do not want to cut your new sod with dull mower blades. It can cause a ripping action to take place and make it susceptible to fungus. So make sure that your mower blades are sharp and ready to go so we can get a clean cut across that new grass so it can grow properly. The rule of thumb is that you do not want to take off no more than one third of an inch of that blade at any given cutting. 
So that's a good rule of thumb. Do not cut off any more than one third of the blade at any given cutting, and that will make sure your lawn looks good. Now let's talk about insecticides. Uh, we need to make sure that we have a good insecticide down on your new lawn because it can get destroyed easily by mole crickets, grubs, chinch bugs, sod web worms, and army worms. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you go uh, on, online or you can contact one of your uh, pest professionals and talk to them about some products that will be best to use for your centipede lawn. But here's the thing I want to recommend to you. Read that label thoroughly before you apply any insecticides to it. You don't want to underdo it, you don't want to overdo it, and you know what? You want to make sure that you apply it the proper way because if you don't apply it the proper way, uh, you can damage your lawn, you can damage uh, those around you as well. So let's make sure that we get it put down, but insecticide is going to be uh, something that's going to be necessary to make sure that uh, all your hard work with your mowing and your watering and your investment in your new lawn doesn't get eaten up by the insects. One of the biggest questions I get all the time is about weeds. Weeds is going to be an ongoing problem if you live in Florida, Alabama, Georgia, or Texas, or Mississippi. It's just something that we deal with on a constant basis. In our business, we're doing weeds and insects almost every service that we're at that lawn because weeds are always coming up. They're always something that we need to control. And I can tell you, you're never going to eliminate all your weed growth, but you can do a lot of things to stop that. One, your watering is going to play a big role. Your cutting is going to play a big role. And also, um, you need to make sure you're using a herbicide that's going to be approved for centipede grass or whatever grass you may have uh, for that particular weed, whether it's a grassy weed or a sedge or a broadleaf weed. You want to make sure that you're reading that label properly and that you're applying it the right way because you do not want to damage your lawn because if you're applying herbicides in 100 degree temperatures, you can damage that lawn if you don't know what you're doing. But I'm going to tell you, if you have any questions about any of these things, about watering, mowing, insecticides, uh, herbicides, you can reach out to me at 850-874-1900. It doesn't matter uh, if you live in Panama City or if you're one of our customers, call us. We'll be glad to give you any information uh, that we may have because we want to make sure that you have the best lawn possible. There's nothing better than coming home from a hard day work and sitting on the front porch or sitting on the back porch with a glass of tea and just looking at your beautiful green lawn it just does something to me i love it and i know that you're going to love it too and you're watching this video because you want to have a good uh beautiful lawn to look at and i can tell you we can help you do that and i can tell you that i'm excited that you watched this video and listen leave a comment if you have any comments you have any feedback uh, on this video please leave that in the comments below I'll, i will get back to you and i want to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information in your hands possible uh, because we want to add value to you okay uh, well thank you for watching this video and you have a great day